The reign of runts continues, everyone. And the folk have spoken. It's multiple base time. And as I said, everyone, I want to take things a step further. And how do we do that? Well, by making all these separate bases feel separate. And I have a pretty darn fun way to do that with Bearger, I think. By making base look like a honeycomb, everybody. Or at least something close to it. <laughs> I mean, it kind of came together. I tried to use sandy turf, you know, as a honey looking thing. I actually have a mod downloaded that adds some uh, extra turf to the game. If I can find a honey looking thing, maybe I'll use that too. But yeah, Badger likes honey, so why not a honeycomb base? So. I think I have the layouts, now I just gotta actually build stuff. And build things pretty fast, because as we know, winter is around the corner, and that means a character switch. Yeah, this whole uh, character switch, multiple bases thing, is gonna be interesting. But even with what I got, everybody, we need more. Not that much more, actually, but we still need more. Piss off, butterfly. Oh, but in my quest for more, guess what I found? All right, this is actually very close to base. But yes, folks, I need more resources. But base is coming together very, very quickly. This is interesting. Is this where the chest was supposed to spawn? Why is this so odd with these headstones and everything? All right, I think that might be a set piece that I am very unaware about. But this should be it, folks. This should be one of the last trips I need. I just need a lot more grass tufts, and then we're going home, and I'll give you a look at how base is coming together. Oh, and don't mind if I do when it comes to this thing. Yup, winter preparation, pretty much done. You know, sometimes rooks are some of the most annoying things to fight everybody. <laughs> just get over here so I can kill you. So remember how I said I needed more? Yeah, might have got a uh, little more than I actually needed. But here we go, folks. It started. We're getting to it. So far, so good. The honeycomb is being filled in. So what comes next? Well, I have about five days until winter is here. I need to fill out a kitchen, and I do not have the rocks to really fill out a kitchen. I mean, I have all that cut stone up there from hammering all those pig houses. That's true. But there's also another thing I'd like to find, too. The suspicious boulder. Now, I know I said that if it didn't spawn, we'd still kind of force the game to spawn it so that we can switch characters season to season, which is the whole kind of point of this challenge run, right? Right. But if we can get it naturally, I think that'd be pretty awesome. So I'm gonna go try to get it naturally. Besides, I'm pretty sure I left some red gems over there. So if I can get those red gems, bring them home and make them into a purple gem, I'll be a happy beardo. I also think it's time we upped our arsenal a little bit. So please, pigs, give me your, ow, give me your meat. Thank you. But hold up, I thought of one other plot to do before we work on that kitchen, folks. A farm plot. Yeah, I think the sooner I start growing my own crops, the better. Oh, but it might land now. Hello, meteors. Okay, come on. I haven't seen it yet, but this is an opportunity. Don't fail me, game. No, I don't think it's here yet, folks. Hmm. Shame, shame, shame. Still got some time. Don't get me wrong. Still got some time. Maybe a couple meteor showers will show up while I'm here. But yeah, it hasn't quite landed yet. Oh, and as an added bonus, the sinkhole in the mosaic biome leads pretty much directly to the blue mush tree forest biome and the lunar grotto, everybody. Oh, you love to flip and see it. In fact, while I'm here and I have a wee bit of time before winter hits, I'm actually gonna go ahead and kill a couple mush gnomes. I need some more living logs. Oh my, and we might have one last opportunity to get it natural, everybody. Hello, meteor shower. Come on, game. Come on. Be nice. Give it to us. I see one meteor that wasn't there before. Come on. Big round meteor. Give it to me. Nope. Sadly, I don't think we're going to get it, everybody. Son of a gun. Whatever, whatever. It was just more of a good feeling of actually getting it naturally in the playthrough instead of having to do a little cheeky spawn in. But hey, whatever. 
Same result, right? Well, almost, because I kinda sorta need some magic crafting before I can go ahead and uh, switch the deer clops in the morning here. As yes, folks, it is that time. Winter is here. It's time to say goodbye to Berger and goodbye to the start of our honeycomb base here. But let's get an overlook, shall we? Let's zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. I like it, everybody. I like it a lot. A honeycomb base that might see some additions later, of course. Obviously, turf might change. Depending on this turf mod, if it adds a more yellowish turfy, we'll go with that. But I need four rabbits. I need some silk. We'll get ourselves a press the hat detator. We'll get ourselves some purple gems. We'll switch the deer clops. And then we might actually end there. I'm thinking it's better to have dedicated videos to dedicated bosses. So let us not waste any time here, folks. Let's get these rabbits rolling. Let's switch as quickly as we can and get on with the show. It also gives me an opportunity to slam these guys to pieces. Now you might be wondering, hold up, that is not 30 damage, Beard. You're right. Remember how I said, oh, remember how I said I was going to be tweaking things throughout this playthrough? Yep, I'm going to be tweaking things throughout this playthrough. Because sometimes these guys are a little too not good. Unless, of course, the game wants to give me zero silk for all these spiders because my goodness gracious that seems to be happening right now oh crap i forgot about a pretty darn important thing everyone i need moonstone to complete the celestial portal don't i hmm right okay I'm very, very close. I have the portal paraphernalia. I have the moon rock idol ready to go. I just need nine more moon rock, don't I? Oh, and then I need to make the one other thing, but that's easy. Hmm, okay. I need to go back to our meteor field and, uh, well, kind of just hope I can get some more moon rock. Or I can bank on being right because I love being right. Nice. I looked at the map, everybody. I saw this location I hadn't fully mapped yet. And I was like, hmm, there's some rocky lands among all this. Chances are this is a second meteor field. And it bloody well is. The one thing about this, though, is that now there's two places the suspicious boulder could have actually been. So, uh, it might actually be here for realsies. Oh, son of a gun it was, everybody. Okay, um, can we just, can we just keep the little secret to ourselves that we already have the celestial orb and, uh, consider that, you know, this second celestial orb doesn't actually exist? <laughs> yeah, uh, I think, I think, I think that's okay. I gotta tell you, this meteor field, way more active than the first one we found. Yeah, that would explain why the suspicious boulder was in this one, not the other one. Oh, you're kidding me. I need one more flippin' moon rock. Okay. <laughs> one more, everybody. One more, and then Deer Claps is here. But hey, at least it gives me an opportunity to talk about Berger. Ooh, one last time, just like that. Look, everybody, I yawned just like my big bad counterpart. Yes, come winter and outside of summer and autumn, Berger has some uh, other special perks, like some built-in insulation. He can yawn. His hunger is not going to drain fast anymore. If his hunger is above 50, he has 200 health. If it's below, he has 175. It's a whole thing. But here we go, folks. Step one, Celestial Portal built. Step two, offer one of these suckers. Oh, they even have their own special examinations for that. Step three, Deer Clops is in, everybody. Special skins, too, if you want. But for us, we're going default. Ooh, we might go to Snowfall. No, depending. If people want it, I can make a wardrobe. We can switch to it. But here's the man himself. Deer Clops, the king of winter, actually in winter, everybody. It kicks off. The reign of runts continues. My gosh. All right, when we come back next week, we'll talk all about this guy and what's special about him. It's actually kind of neat. All of them are kind of neat. And then we need to talk about where's the coldest place to base as one of the coldest bosses in this game. And would you believe it, we might have just found it a few minutes ago. But folks, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.